galloping sausage. Doc was tired. He had been working hard and he needed to rest in the big shed. But James was blocking his way. Go away, James hissed crossly. You can't come in. Why? protested Doc. The truck says you've been calling me names, said James furiously. They say you called me Rusty Red Scrap Iron. I didn't, said Doc. And you called me old Square Wheels, interrupted Henry. Diesel told me this morning. I haven't called any of you names, insisted Doc. I think Devious Diesel is just telling tales to get me into trouble. Doc sighed. But James and Henry didn't believe Doc. Doc was sad and trundled away to spend the night in the siding. Diesel was delighted. His trick had worked. He had disliked Doc since his first morning in the yard when Doc told him to fetch some trucks. But Diesel had not listened properly. He collected the wrong ones and the fat controller was very cross. Diesel chuckled to himself when he saw Doc next morning. Right, he said in an oily voice. Now Henry and James are on my side. What can I do about Gordon, I wonder? A few days later, he heard some trucks talking in the yard. Gordon thinks he can go much faster than anything else, they chattered. But how can he? He's old. Not as old as me wheezed an elderly guards van, who had come from the other railway many years before. I remember the days of my old line when some of the big engines like Gordon were named after horses which had won a race called the Derby. Levenberg was one, and Pretty Polly was another. What a silly name for an engine, the trucks laughed. Have you noticed, said a small truck, that Gordon looks as though he's galloping when he's coming straight towards you. Just like a horse, he chuckled mischievously. That's to do with the way his side rods are attached to his wheels, Diesel explained as he purred away. He thought about the truck's conversation that day as he shunted. Next morning, the weather grew very hot. Heat haze shimmered around the boils of Henry and Gordon as they stood outside the shed. Henry had just had his water tank filled and was moving away from the water tower. Gordon did not need the water, but he had to pass the water tower to get to the station. As he did so, water from the dripping water house splashed onto his boiler, which was so hot that the water sizzled and popped. Just like sausages frying in a pan, remarked Diesel's driver. Diesel smiled to himself. He had just had an idea. Do you know what Duck said about Gordon? Diesel whispered to the trucks the next day. Before the trucks could reply, Diesel continued. Duck says Gordon looks like a galloping sausage. The trucks tittered. You shouldn't laugh, said Diesel sternly. Duck was being very rude. But trucks don't care about good manners. Soon, the galloping sausage story had spread all around the yard. And worst of all, everyone thought that Doc had started the story. It was not long, of course, before Gordon heard what was being said to him. As Diesel expected, Gordon was furious. Galloping sausage? He snorted indignantly. I've never been so insulted in my life. What do you mean by it, Doc? Sorry, Gordon, said Doc. I don't know anything about it. Gordon let off steam loudly. That's what you said to James and Henry, he hissed. The trucks all say it's you. Diesel says he's asked them about it, didn't you, Diesel? Diesel agreed. I am a strong engine, said Gordon proudly. Not a galloping sausage! Doc went sadly away to find his next train. And a few days later, the fat controller sent him away to help Edward on his branch line. The fat controller didn't like his railway to be disrupted by silly stories. He intended to 
find out which engine was making all the trouble. And, when the silly stories were still being told after Duck had gone, he knew which engine was to blame. The fat controller had to sort everything out and wasted no time. He spoke to Diesel, who was sent away in disgrace. And soon after that, Duck came back. Duck was given a great welcome by all the other engines. We're sorry we didn't listen to you, they said. Please forgive us. Duck did, of course. And now, I'm glad to say, all the engines are the best of friends again. And that was the story, said Duck and Diesel together. Did you enjoy it? Yes, we do, said the other three. At least you two can make amends and put it all behind us. And soon they were all asleep. <laughs>